Hello, welcome back to my channel. Um, today should be Thursday. <laughs> the uh, 10th, when you're seeing this. Uh, at least when I post it, I guess. I'm not sure when you're seeing it. Raylan, quit yelling. That's my one-year-old just screaming at me in the background. <laughs> um, and I, um... Today I'm making a planner routine card for stuff to help jog my memory and things I want to check every day um, and like routines and things like that. I just kind of want to make everything uh, a little bit more streamlined so I am, I actually have cardstock left over from, it's just a a really cheap pack that I got from Walmart. Um, I bought it when we did Mother's Day presents. We made little handprint bouquets uh, for all the moms and grandmas in our family. So I have a bunch of cardstock left over and I decided to use it um, and watercolor it with, this is just, oh gosh, like rose art or something like that. I mean, you could use Crayola. This probably cost me $2 um, for some watercolor paint. It's nothing fancy, but it works. It gets the job done. Uh, I don't watercolor enough uh, to warrant getting, uh, <laughs> to warrant buying, um, you know, like fancy uh, watercolor paint. Uh, uh, <laughs> um, so I'm just painting the one side. I did like um, cool colors and with a little bit of green. I know that's leaning more warm, but to me, it, it's in the cool color family on one side and then the other side I decided to do uh, warm colors um, so I'm just painting both sides and this video I kind of videotaped it throughout the day on Labor Day um, I because I had to let things dry and I just kind of did you know chores adulting things um, in between the painting and the writing um, I also, before I even started filming this, Raylan, before I even started filming this video, I actually brainstormed, um, I actually got the idea because I was watching SM Plans or Sierra, um, and she has these little, um, credits or card sized ones that kind of help jog her memory and things like that, um, which she said it best, you shouldn't be required to remember these things, uh, it's just a lot, there's a lot of things, Everyone has a lot to remember. You shouldn't have to remember this too. So having little cards or one big card like you'll see for me, kind of showing you and jogging your memory on things, um, that I think is gonna be super helpful. So I took the idea kind of from her um, and actually she said she took the idea from Brandy Michelle Plans and um, Doc Sheena actually just did a video um, I'll link all of their videos down below. They're fantastic. I can't imagine that you haven't seen at least one of them if you're here watching my video. Um, but I'll link all of theirs down below. I took a lot of notes while I was watching their videos and really found them helpful when I was making and brainstorming what I wanted on my list. Um, and then, yeah. So I did that before I started painting and before I started filming, I went through, I brainstormed what I wanted for my monthly, weekly, and daily checklists. Um, and then what I wanted, uh, I'm not very great at referencing things on the daily. So that I think is going to be probably the most helpful one. Um, and actually I'm going to be, I used a habit tracker for like a just a straight up habit tracker for on the the extra monthly page that you get in the hobonichi and i think i'm going to actually start using um sierra's monthly plan it just looks perfect uh she said she kind of got inspiration from the uh, what is that called passion or not passion planner oh gosh the my goodness, I'm just not going to be able to come up with it. Oh, what is that called? Uh, Cultivate what matters. Power sheets. Got it. <laughs> Sorry. 
um, she used the power sheets and, um, she's not going to be using that next year. So she got, that's where she got inspiration mm -hmm. from and I, it just looks perfect. So that's what I'm going to be using. I did not purchase the power sheets. I'm going to use the monthly plan. Um, I'll be ordering my new Hobonichis for next year. Yes, Hobonichis. I'm going to be using a day free and a cousin A5, uh, the day free for my work calendar and then um, and notes that I need to take at meetings and, and things like that. Uh, and then my normal cousin will be my um, everything planner. Um, so here I'm just taping down. This is actually the paper that came with my binder. That you see, I actually de-ringed a binder, and these are the papers that came in it. Um, and I'm using that for a size reference because it is A5, and it fit these fit perfectly into my planner. Um, so I'm using that to cut down the sheet that I watercolored, um, and I just washi taped it so that way I could cut without the paper moving. Um, and then... After I cut it out here, I'm just going to move all of my scraps and my scissors and everything out of the way. Um, I've been using a ballpoint in my planner, uh, but I really wanted something that like was smooth and didn't skip. Um, I love my ballpoint for highlighting purposes, but it just isn't aesthetically pleasing, uh, especially on something I'm gonna be referencing often and I don't plan on highlighting. So I'm going to get out my zebra that is a gel pen and it has a nice bold line and it doesn't skip it's beautiful so i'm going to use that to write down my um routines um and then actually the this is the notebook where i plan them out after i um brainstormed i went through and rewrote them in the way that the order that i wanted them for the most part so I'm just going through and I'm writing down my monthly, weekly, and daily on this side. And then the other side will have my morning routine, my night routine, um, the what I need, what my son, my daughter, and I all need in our bags um, for the mornings. And then also I kind of just did a quick hygiene checklist. Um, it's not that I don't can't remember but those things are important for me to um I guess reference I don't really know what I'm not great at washing my face um so that is something that I want to just like pick up and do more often and then I don't necessarily shower day or night I just shower um depending on when I want to shower like if I'm gonna straighten my hair I'll usually shower the night before because my I don't have to blow dry my hair and then if I'm gonna wear my hair uh like scrunchy I'll shower the morning of so I can scrunch it uh you know so I just wanted a little checklist something to reference it doesn't necessarily mean I forget how to do those things or when to do them I just I had room at the bottom and I have a hygiene routine as a checkbox on my um, tracker. So I kind of wanted to have just an I like what I was thinking in my head when I wrote that down. Um, so actually it's gonna cut off. <laughs> I ran out of storage on my phone while I was filming this and I had already written the backside and that's when, when it's going to stop recording. So I just threw in a little video of what I had written. Um, so you're going to see that soon, um, but here is, I'm just about to finish the daily side, um, and then I'm going to flip over. You'll see me write the first two headers, and that's going to be it, and then I, it will skip into just an overview of what it looks like, and then, um, the, um, I kind of do like a little, you know, uh, fancy go over. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy this video. I know it was, well, me, I was rambling like crazy, crazy. Um, I think it turned out so pretty though. I love how it turned out. Um, so I'm going to be keeping this. You'll probably see this in future videos referenced. Um, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. I will see you on Monday's video. Um, if you have any suggestions for future videos or comments or questions, let me know down below in the comments um, or over on Instagram. Um, yeah, like, subscribe. I hope you have a great day. Bye.